Out of the hundreds of LED bulb options on the market today, how can you possibly pick the right one for your Jeep Wrangler JK? In this video, I've got a handful of some of the most popular bulbs in the market today, and I've also got a couple from our YouTube comments section that you guys have asked us specifically to test, and in this video, I'm gonna install them each one by one, point it against the wall, and I'm gonna show you guys which one is the best out of all of them. So, let's get this thing turned around, pointed at the wall, and let's get started. So before we get started, let me tell you guys how this test is gonna to work today. We've got a digital lux meter and it is the best way to indicate exactly how bright or in some cases how dim a particular headlight is. So we're gonna back our Jeep up about 25 feet from the wall, fire it against our studio wall here and I'm gonna show you guys the beam pattern and I'm also gonna give you a lux reading so that you can tell exactly how bright these headlights are. If you're using a similar lux meter to what we're doing, if you bought the same headlights that we're testing, you'd get a similar result. This Jeep comes from the factory with a halogen H13 bulb and the beam pattern is pretty good, but the brightness isn't. So in this test, we're gonna do our best to find the best and brightest bulb. This bulb is the Op7 Flux Beam and this one pops up in the comments quite a bit because it's a very affordable option. As you can see, it is fan cooled. It does have an external driver. Let's see how it does. So here we have our Op7 bulb and this came in at 29% brighter, 530 maximum lux, but as you can see, we've had a really weird effect happen here with our beam pattern. And no matter how we tried to reorient or clock this bulb in the headlight housing, we couldn't get this effect to go away. You can see an independent like left and right beam pattern, which compared to stock, we didn't have that problem before. I can't really recommend this bulb for that reason. Now when switched to high beam, the Op7 bulb came in at 14% brighter, but we did fill in that missing middle section a little bit. It's still pretty fragmented, as you can see, the stock beam pattern has a nice hot spot right in the center, a lot of good flood left and right, and the Op7 bulb just really doesn't imitate that well enough. Now this is one of the newer LED headlight bulbs from Oxbeam. As you can see, it has no external driver. It is fan cooled. Let's see how this one performs. It's got a very unique chip design on it. I'm excited to see how that does. Now this is what the Oxbeam LED headlight bulb looked like installed in our Jeep Wrangler JK. As you can see, we've got a weird little divide in the middle where there should be a hotspot and we've got an identifiable left and right hotspot. Our factory headlight didn't do that. I'm not sure what's going on there and it was also 4% less bright. This really wouldn't be the greatest option for your Jeep. Let's see what it does on high beam. Now when we hit the high beam, our ox beam bulb did do a little bit better. It came in at 21% brighter. As you can see, we do have a nice crisp white light output, but let's try to find a little bit more balanced bulb with a much better low beam. Next up, we've got the Morimoto Two Stroke. This one is very popular. People ask us about this all the time, and I can't wait to see how this one does. Here we have the Morimoto Two Stroke, and that is looking pretty good in this headlight housing. As you can see, we do have a hot spot. We got a nice clean color, and I'm not seeing a ton of glare above the hot spot, which is good. We're not gonna be blinding oncoming traffic too bad. We imitate the factory beam pattern pretty well, and this came in at 1,430 maximum lux, which was 248% brighter. Not bad at all. Now this is the Morimoto Two Stroke High Beam. As you can see, we do get a little bit of shadowing on the left and right, but honestly, a lot of H13 LED headlight bulbs do this. They do have this effect when switched to high beam. It's not a huge deal. Honestly, most of your driving is done with low beam anyways. So really we're looking for low beam here. And as you just saw, the Morimoto Two Stroke does have a good low beam. But let's keep going on our test and see if we can find a bulb that blends a good low beam with a good high beam. Next up, we've got the SV4. This one's been on the channel more times than I can count. It is a solid performing bulb, but I'm excited to see how it stacks up compared to the other bulbs in this shootout. This is what the SV4 bulb looked like when installed in our Jeep Wrangler JK headlight. And as you can see, this is a really solid choice. If you're looking for an LED headlight bulb in your Jeep, this is the one to get. This one came in at 385% brighter than stock and it is unbelievably clean. Look at the lack of glare above the hotspot. It imitates the factory beam pattern very well. Truthfully, out of all the options tested today, this is the one I would run in my Jeep. When switching the SV4 bulb over to the high beam, you can see we've still got a nice looking high beam. We do have a hot spot, and this came in at 2,200 maximum lux, 300% brighter than stock, maintaining that stock beam pattern. This is going to be a very effective headlight choice for you. Next up, we've got the GTR Lighting Ultra Series 2 bulb, and the last bulb that they came out with was passively cooled. This one is fan cooled, and it's got a smaller external driver. I'm excited to see how this one does. 
Here we have the GTR Lighting Ultra Series 2 bulb, and this one was a significant upgrade over stock. As you can see, we've got a nice white light output. This was 282% brighter. We've got a very similar cutoff line to stock, not a ton of glare. This really wouldn't be a bad option. Let's see how its high beam does. The GTR Lighting Ultra 2 bulb is an amazing high beam in this particular headlight. As you can see, it looks very similar to stock. We've still got a nice cutoff line, but we've got a lot of light to the left and right exactly where we want it, and a really good beam pattern right in the center. Now that you've seen a few of the headlight bulb options on the market today, I'm going to show you guys how to get these things installed at home using basic hand tools. There really isn't much to it. Now, for those of you that don't need my help, by all means, check out our other Jeep JK content. We've got a ton of auxiliary lighting videos. We've got some of the world's brightest reverse lights that you can even get for these things, and I'd love for you to see them. So, if you need help getting them installed, let's dive into it. Now, the first step is removing these six plastic push pins from the top of the grill. Go ahead and get under it with a flat pry tool like this. Lift it up like so, and just work your way from one side to the other. Next, you can pull the grill toward you, and it's going to pop free of its little clips on the bottom. You can turn these turn signals counterclockwise, just let them hang there. At this point, you can set your grill off to the side. At this point, with a T15 Torx bit, you can remove the four screws that hold this silver ring to your headlight. There's two on the top and two on the bottom. Make sure you support the headlight at this point because it will fall out. At this point, you can pull the headlight away from the vehicle. You're going to see a green connector with a red locking tab. If you slide that red locking tab back like so, you can press on the back of the connector and remove it from the bulb. At this point, you can twist the bulb counterclockwise, remove it from the headlight, and you can install whichever LED bulb you're choosing to install for your Jeep. Now, this kind of testing is exactly why here at Headlight Revolution, we do lighting better. Without testing like this, you would have no idea how these bulbs perform next to each other. And honestly, if you look at the ads for them online, they all say the same thing. World's brightest headlight, most lumens, most lux. But testing like this in the real world is exactly how we can help you make the best decision possible. Now, we've got a lot of Jeep JK content available, and I'd love for you guys to see every bit of it. We've got everything figured out on these from auxiliary lighting, reverse lights, you name it, we've got it. Click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.